Welcome to Proven, my name is Clay, and today we're gonna to talk about awnings. There's all kinds of different awnings, and frankly, an awning is something that you don't really need until all of a sudden you do. It's uh, something that can sit on the side of your truck for a really long time, and you never use it. And then all of a sudden, you're using it all the time. We have been sponsored by Equipped Expedition Outfitters from day one. Paul was a, a big supporter of us, so for Man, going on 10 years now, we've been using Easy On products and, and their awnings, and we've had really great luck with them. I'm, say, I'm telling you that because that is what has been proven to us. We live in Montana here, and we have a wide range of weather. We have hot summers, really wet springs, and wet falls, and snow, etc. To me, an awning is an essential piece of kit for being comfortable when outside of your vehicle. There's a lot of different types of awnings. There's a lot of different awning companies out there. What I would recommend is if you're looking at a vehicle build uh, that you look at a roof rack company or a manufacturer that does the lot. They build roof racks, they build awnings, perhaps tents, uh, and have a lot of accessories. Because what you end up getting into on roof rack systems, especially when it comes to awnings, is mounting problems. So if you go with the manufacturer that produces all of it, typically you're going to find the ease of install to be much, much better. It needs to be easy to set up. If it's not easy, I won't ever buy it. Because, here's the thing, you'll just never use it. Or you have to really go out of your way to make it usable. If you've got to take an awning out and you've got to stake it down to make it work and pull all these guy lines out, it's, it's just not going to be a good uh, solution for you. I'm sitting under the Easy On Batwing 270. This is our, one of our oldest awnings. It is now on my uh, Prospector. But uh, this is one of my favorite awnings of all time because of the coverage that you get out of it <clears throat> and how easy it is to set up. I set this awning up while Tanner ran inside to get some camera stuff. I set it up by myself by the time that he came back outside unzips, a couple straps, goes around, it's strong enough to support itself on the hinge, attach it, drop the legs, and you're done. Uh, that, to me, this awning has been the standard for what I look for in an awning. If it holds up to the Batwing 270 by Easy On, then I'm, I think it's a good awning, no matter who makes it. We don't put the 270 on all of our vehicles, though. It is heavy. The Patriot Camper has an integrated 270 awning for system, and it's a phenomenal awning because they, they thought through all of it. They put the largest amount of surface area over the main galley, and then they made sure it was longer than the galley, so it extends past the sink. That is a principle that you should apply in any of the awnings that you go out to buy. Make sure it's long enough to cover the area that you want to work in. And it's probably the best awning we have when it comes to a proprietary company that's building something for their specific product. It just works really well. So if you can't have a 270 awning, what should you do? Well, look for an awning that is going to be within your price range, because at the end of the day, shade, shade, right? Uh, and then think to yourself, what can I afford and get into the better awning companies that have a higher end fabric. For example, what I'm sitting under right now in the 270, the Easy On, they use a really high end fabric that after six years of hard use and abuse and rattling and sitting inside, it's in great shape. It's nice to have a thicker material in an awning. When you're in the desert heat and it's really hot, the thicker material will make being underneath the awning much cooler. When it's thin and cheap material, you still feel a lot of that heat right through the fabric. And it kind of defeats the purpose. We have one awning that's called the Swift that I also really like. It's on the Land Cruiser and it has the ability to be set up by a single person without legs. On a good day like today, no wind, you could set it out and it just sits suspended. Now think also on what side of the vehicle you want it mounted on. We've mounted ours on both sides. Even across the, the fleet here right now, we have 
awnings on different sides of the vehicles. I would suggest that you put an awning on the passenger side of a vehicle. Why? Because a lot, that's the safe side of the vehicle. If you end up kind of pulling off the side of the road, etc., because you're out and about, you can extend your awning for a lunch and you're not extending it out into the road. You just kind of find that you use it more if it's on the passenger side. Think through your doors. Make sure that when the, an awning is deployed that doors aren't going to hit the legs or if a back hatch is coming up that it won't intrude with the awning. I've seen some people put awnings on the back of like say a, like a Forerunner or a 270 and it goes all the way to the back and then the Forerunner hatch lifts up and then they go, oh man, I didn't think through this because my hatch lifts so high and then they have to come up with all these other contraptions to make their uh, 270 awning work due to a rear hatch or a door opening up all the way. We mount them in a certain way. We like to uh, install them tight into the vehicle, especially in rock crawling situations uh, or trail conditions when the vehicle starts to lean. A little bit of lean down here is a big lean on the top of the vehicle. It's an arch. So if that's way out there, it's going to hit trees. It's going to get into brush. Uh, keep your awnings installed as close to the body line as possible. So that's it. Awnings are pretty straightforward. It's a really cool tool to have. And uh, I want to hear about your experiences with awnings or what you're using as perhaps shelter in this way. Uh, comment below. Please keep it civil. Hope you're doing good. We'll see you on the next one.